How's it going guys? It's your boy Jojo's Whips back with another video. And as you can tell from the title, this is my new 1971 Caprice. It is, you know, this is, as I've been saying, this is my dream car. This has been my dream car for quite some time. And um, it's been pretty hard finding one, you know, especially timing wise, you know, as far as financials go. But, um, but you know, I am going to be selling my truck. So, you know, my truck will pretty much cover the price that I paid for the car. So, you know, it's kind of like a like an even trade. You know, obviously, I'd rather have my dream car than the truck. Although, don't get me wrong, I love the truck. But, um, but yeah, it does have a uh, a new paint job. So, the, the, so, the people I bought it from, I bought the car in Pittsburgh. And they actually, um, they did, you know, as far as, like, the wheel and tire set up. They, they painted the car. And, you know, the car originally was a dark green. Which, honestly, in my opinion, I would kind of like the dark green a little bit better. But, um, you know, maybe in the future after this paint gets some dings and dents and scratches and whatnot in the future, I'll probably just repaint it to the original color. But um, but the paint's actually, you know, whoever painted it actually did a real good job. I've seen some other paint jobs that people do and it looks like they just took the car to Mako. You know, of course, it has the vents on the trunk. That's the ventilation system only available on the 71s because, you know, it ended up not being efficient enough. And I have the tail light panel. You know, this is real hard to get. The only biggest thing I have to get for the car is the front and rear bumper guards. And that'll really set the car off. And yes, guys, if you know these cars, it is missing the side trim. The um, the people I bought it from, they didn't put it back on because, you know, uh, a lot of the pieces that they gave me, a lot of them were rotten out. So, you know, I couldn't really do anything with them anyways. So I think that was like the main reason. But um, but they did tell me that they that they wanted to they like to they really like the car like how it is like this. But in my opinion, I already bought a bunch of NOS rocker panels and all the pieces, all the trim. So I'm gonna be putting that back on the car so I can make it all original. They have they're gonna be sending me the skirts for the car because you know it looks kind of weird without skirts on it. But um but as far as the interior goes, and of course you have the boomerang window. But the interior, I will say, is real crispy. You know, those door cards are literally, like, brand new. The car has uh, 69,000 miles, which I'm pretty sure is pretty accurate because as far as the interior is, it's literally, like, brand new. You know, the seats are literally just, you know, real crispy. The other door card is in great condition. The dash has no cracks. Oh, and then this is an AC car. That was a real big, big thing on finding is one with AC because most of them don't. Fold this up. I only had this blanket back here because I had my, my kids back here. But literally, this car is immaculate inside. And yeah, I took the rollers off the back because my kids kept, you know, or well, my son, because my other kid is uh, only three months old. But my, my four-year-old, he kept rolling the windows up and down. So I just took them off because... I just didn't want him breaking it, but literally the car is in very good condition. Interior wise, exterior wise, it is too. It just you know, obviously it needs to be because in my eyes it's not completed because it needs the belt trim and then the rocker trim, and then you know technically then once I have that on the car, then the car will pretty much be temporarily done until I start you know with this build. But uh, let me see. I'm gonna try to see if we can find a flashlight so we can look under the under the you know under the car and then I'll also get the hood popped so you guys can see the engine and then I'll also pop the trunk so we, you know you guys can just see how big it is and you know how clean it is in there as well. So let me get that out very quick. This is under the car. So as you guys can tell, the car did have um they did underliner on it. So, you know, that explains why it looks so good underneath, but it was a very solid car. It originally, so I did say I bought the car in Pennsylvania, but um, they only had the car for, not, I think only probably about six years or so. So, um, and they had the car stored in, indoors probably, I mean, I'm just assuming 99% of the time because the car literally doesn't really have any rust, even in the areas that they weren't able to underline or, you know, to spray the underliner on, they were really crispy. So that's why I was like, yeah, they didn't really drive the car much probably out there at all, especially because, you know, what kills these cars the most is the salt on the roads in those northern states. But so the car is actually originally from Florida. So it was actually pretty cool bringing the car back to Florida again 
So, you know, the car was only was only out of its home state for a few years, and then now it's back back in Florida again. But um, I actually just put the header emblem back on. So this is actually the emblem that came with the car, but um, they didn't have the back, the back uh, plate in there. So all they had was that. So I actually ended up going on eBay and buying an NOS one. But the cool thing with buying the NOS one is it had the back plate and then the, the little you know nuts with the rubbers on the back to hold it in. So I put the original one back on and I'm just gonna keep the NOS one. That way if I ever damage that one or if it ends up falling off or something, at least I have a brand new one ready. And especially if you can find NOS parts on eBay, you know, on, on Facebook Marketplace, Instagram, if you could find NOS parts, you know, try to buy them up immediately because you know there's there's only so many of them left. So and if for those of you that don't know what NOS means, it's new old stock. And that's pretty much brand new from the 70s. And, you know, nobody's ever opened it or nobody's installed it on a car. So it's basically brand new. So, um, but yeah, I mean, even this header emblem, it's in real good condition. I would say the, the NOS one I bought is only a little bit cleaner than this one. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the car is actually real dirty too. I was going to clean it, but I just haven't really had the time. I've been, I've been pretty busy lately, but car literally has brand new paint um so as far as the wheels go i'm not really a fan of the wheels that much you know they'll do for now you know because um I, i'm gonna try to see if i can find an original set of uh caprice or so some caprice up caps and you know some of those wheels so i could my goal is to try to bring the car back to original as possible and just you know enjoy it like that you know i'll do like little stuff as far as you know interior stuff you know try to make keep it I really want to do a little bit of a sound system in the car, but I'm going to try to keep everything as clean as possible. I'm not going to do, um, I'm, I'm still up in the air on the uh, system wise, what I'm going to do because, um, we actually used to have a 73 back in, you know, 2019 and I actually built the custom center console for it. But in this car, I don't think I'm going to go that route. I'm probably just going to go with like a sound processor or something and just hide it. That way, when you're in the car, you don't see no radio, no anything. And then, you know, you can still, you know, it'll be pretty cool. You can just connect your phone and, you know. And all right, guys, as you can see, that's a 400 small block. And um, and they, the people that I bought it from, they put um, new valve covers, new headers, new plugs, new wires, um, new carburetor, new air cleaner, new distributor. Um, they also did a new radiator on it, new overflow. You know, they did they did quite a, quite a lot of new stuff. I believe they did a new brake booster because that looks pretty fresh. But um, the only, so the car actually runs real nice, but um, it does have a little bit of a shimmy though in like first gear. So I'm not sure if it's like maybe a, a, a motor mount or transmission mount, maybe slight, maybe it could be a slight misfire causing it. I don't know, no, I, I haven't really had the time to mess with it. But, um, but I, I'm, I am definitely, you know, looking to that. I think once we get into our new house, which we're gonna be moving into here pretty soon, I think that's what I'm gonna, you know, take a dive in and figure out what that is. Um, but the one thing I did recently was I put an Optima yellow top because the battery that was in it, it was, um, the battery, I think it was, it was a bad battery. Cause when I took it to the auto zone, they ran their little tester on it and they're like, Oh yeah, it's a bad battery and figure, you know, I might as well put a real good battery in here. That way, that way it'll always crank up. And I will say I had in, putting this new battery in, it cranks up way better than it did prior to with the old battery. And then, so I did that so far. I put the real emblem back in, as I said already. And on Saturday, I actually did a, I put two valves on the heater line. So for both sides. And I did that because, so I can maximize the, you know, the full effort of the AC system. Because, um, I don't know if you guys know, but, well, I'm sure you guys know, but the way the heater works is, you know, obviously it runs your, your hot water in there and then it comes back in through this side. But um, so I actually just put valves on there to block it off. That way, no hot water goes into the system at all. That way I can have, you know, full max AC because obviously it's a, you know, it runs off of like a relay or something and that triggers whenever the, you know, if you have the heater or the AC on. But as long as I don't have that hot water going into the system, I will be getting, way, you know, a bit cooler. You know, honestly, since how hot it's been in Florida, like even if it's a couple of degree, degree difference, it's 100% worth it. And it's nice that it's a turn valve. I put turn valves on it because now if it does get cool, which, you know, I'm in central Florida, so in the winters, it does kind of get 
like chilly it gets you know sometimes in the 30s so you know if i ever want to drive the car when it's chilly out at least i could just turn those valves and i'll have a heater again but as of right now it, it made a pretty big difference me putting those valves on there stopping that that heater flow from going into the system because it does actually warm it up a little bit you know i'm sure it's not that big of a difference but as far as like cruising wise it did make a real big difference me putting those valves there but um but yeah the car honestly is a real nice car I flew to Pittsburgh as soon as I saw it, or I, I, I saw it, and then it took me about a week to be able to talk to my, you know, my wife and everything to be able to go out there to really go check it out. But um, but yeah, it's a real straight, solid car. All the trim is real nice, as far as like the, the headlights and everything, the complete the grill. You know, that was my biggest thing. As long as it has most of the main trim on it, I'm happy. But you know, obviously, it's just it doesn't have the rockers, but. Thankfully, I was able to source a bunch of them NOS. There was a couple of panels I had to buy used off of another car, but they were pretty solid as well. They were pretty much almost an NOS standard. But um, but yeah. As soon as um, as soon as I get some time, I'm gonna get the car ceramic coated. But I'm gonna wait to do that until once I get the skirts. Once they ship me the skirts. So they had the skirts for the car. I saw them when I flew over to Pittsburgh, but they didn't have them painted because they didn't want to put them back on. And that's the one thing they did too, is they took off the, the skirt mounts. But, um, but I actually already bought some brand new ones that, um, that somebody sold me. And um, so as soon as I have some time to, or once I get the skirts, I'll be able to put the mounts on and be able to adjust them. So, you know, they fit properly and they line up with the car. But yeah, guys, this is honestly my dream car. You know, this is gonna be a real fun build. I don't know as far as power plant wise in the future, what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do LS swap, maybe even a Hellcat swap, because, you know, since I've had a few Hellcats the past, you know, three or four years, and I honestly really love that platform. And somebody actually just did a Hellcat swap in a 71 Impala, which, you know, it's basically the same thing, just the Caprice has, you know, nicer options since it is the nicer model. But um, but I might even want to go that route. But, um, but yeah, as soon as we get into the house, you know, I could figure out what I'm going to do. But... I'm not going to touch this frame. I'm going to be buying another frame, and that's what I'm going to do with, you know, with my four 9-inch coil overs. I'm definitely going that route, but motor-wise, I'm still up in the air on what route to go. And um, and I actually have an extra Holly Dominator already. Cause, um, so I bought one for my truck, and then I bought one for the – for uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, because I was going to run a Dominator in the Audi, so, but I ended up running a Haltech, so I have an extra Dominator, so I'm going to put that in this car. So I already have that checked off. And, you know, the, obviously the Dominator is pretty much the best computer you could have as far as LSs go. And even Hellcats, because I've seen some Hellcats run on Holly Dominators. But, um, but yeah, as soon as we get into the new house, I can start messing with this build, which we should be in the new house in um, early September. So I probably want to try to get it, get cracking on this car as soon as I can. And um, I'll be buying a new frame. So then that way I could keep this frame with everything original on it. And then I'll have another frame. So that way, even in the future, if I, you know, if I ended up finding another Caprice with more options from factory, maybe I'll end up selling this car for that one or even a, honestly, I do like the convertibles as well. You know, obviously they're more sought after, but, you know, obviously I'd rather prefer having a Caprice than an Impala because the convertibles only came in Impalas. They didn't make a Caprice convertible. So um, that's why I'm probably, and I honestly like hard tops better than convertibles because, you know, they're not as noisy and you know, yada, 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 but yeah, guys, finally was able to get one, but yeah, that's what I'm going to go with though, I'm going to buy another 71 frame, which they're pretty easy to find, and then I'm going to start building my own frame, you know, four nine inch, you know, uh, notch it, um, you know, big uh, six piston brakes all around, and then yeah, that way then I could just have this frame and then I'll have the other frame that'll be in the car and then I'll just have the original frame just set off to the side. So if I ever want to sell the car or anything or if somebody wants to buy it, but they want it all original again, I could just put that frame back there. You know, I take the custom frame there and then put the original frame back in. And yep, so that's the route we're going to go. But stay tuned for this build. And actually too, if you guys have been wondering where the Audi is, it's been quite some time since my last video because you know i kind of was getting a little bit of a run around with the shop you know we cleared everything up though but 
they were having some trouble with the wiring pre with the wiring guy and then they ended up getting a real good wiring guy that got the car pretty much dialed in so we will be having that car on the channel here within hopefully the next week the car is getting tuned tomorrow and then hopefully the car already runs and drives and everything <clears throat> but they just have to they haven't tuned the car yet with boost in the car so hopefully that all goes well tomorrow we've bumped into a lot of little speed bumps with the car but so far everything's been good though with the car so it's nice that the car is going to be one of the first audi s4 b5s with the haltech elite 2500 in it and that car is going to be a blast but um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um and yeah and stay tuned for the video sometime next next week for the audi because you know that's that's been a long awaited video so um and then also this build's going to be a pretty fun build as well i'm going to try to do everything well i'm going to videotape everything the whole process of this whole build but um but yeah this is jojo's whips and i'm out